everyone. I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son Jordan Spivey, and we're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video. And in this video, we're going to discuss the topic acceleration. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and show you a brief NFL clip of acceleration. So if you notice, when a running back gets the ball, he changes speed and direction very quickly. And that's what acceleration is. So let's take a look at it. He gets the ball, he's shifty, he changes speed, changes direction, and he gets to his top speed very quickly. So now let's look at acceleration. And acceleration is the change of an object's velocity over time. Positive acceleration means an object is speeding up, and neg negative acceleration means the object is slowing down. Here is, here's our acceleration equation. So we have A, or acceleration, equals our change in velocity, which is our final velocity minus our initial velocity over time. A equals acceleration. This triangle V right here stands for change in velocity. The VF is final velocity. The VI is initial velocity. And the T stands for time. Your unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. So let's take a look at our acceleration equation, but this time we're going to look at a triangle version of it. So you have to, in order to determine acceleration, you have your final velocity minus your initial velocity over your acceleration and time. So say if we wanted to solve for acceleration. So here's acceleration right here. If we go ahead and put our hand over acceleration, we will see final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Say if we wanted to solve for time, then it would be final velocity minus initial velocity over acceleration. And then say if we want to solve for final velocity, or we want to solve for velocity, that would be, so let's go ahead and circle it right here, that would be acceleration times time. Now let's do some practice problems. So let's look at practice problem number one. What is the acceleration of a car that goes from rest to 25 meters per second in five seconds? So it asks, what is the acceleration? So we don't know what our acceleration is. So let's put a question mark beside that. And then it says, of a car that goes from rest, if it's at rest, that means it's not moving. That's going to be your initial velocity. So it's going to be your zero meters per second. And then it says it goes to 25 meters per second. That's your final velocity. It goes from rest, initial velocity, to 25 meters per second for your final velocity. And it says it does that in five seconds. So that's going to be your time. So now we're solving for acceleration. So that's going to be our final velocity minus our initial velocity over time. And let me change my color of my pen so you can see it better. So let's put it in yellow. So we're going to have our final velocity, which is 25 meters per second, minus our initial velocity, which is zero meters per second, over our time, which is five seconds. 25 minus zero, that's going to equal 25 meters per second, divided by five seconds. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. 25 divided by five, that's going to equal five meters per second squared because that's our unit for acceleration. Let's take a look at our next practice problem. So practice problem number two, while walking to school, you approach an intersection and slow down from two meters per second to a stop. So you were going two meters per second. That was your initial velocity. And then you stop. When you stop, you're not traveling a distance or you're not moving at any speed. So that's going to be your final velocity. So that's going to be zero meters per second. And it says you do it in three seconds. So that's your time, three seconds. It says, what was your acceleration during this time interval? So it says, what was your acceleration? So that's what we're solving for. We're solving for acceleration. So let's take a look. Once again, if we're solving for acceleration, we're going to have final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So we have zero meters per second which is our final velocity, minus 2 meters per second, which is our initial velocity, over 3 seconds. So 0 minus 2 is going to give us a negative 2 meters per second. And then we're going to put that over 3 seconds. And then when we use our calculators, we notice that when we take negative 2 and we divide it by three seconds, 
that gives us a negative 0 0.667 and we can stop it right there so the question you may be asking and let me go ahead and put my units meters per second squared the question you may be asking is why is our acceleration negative think about this were you speeding up or were you slowing down and if you look in the problem it shows right here that you were slowing down so anytime you're slowing down your acceleration is going to be negative anytime you're speeding up your acceleration is going to be positive so now it's time for our check for understanding ladies and gentlemen you have one minute to identify the components you need and to solve the following acceleration problem and you can go ahead and pause the video beginning now now let's see how you did on your check for understanding so number one as a shuttle bus comes to a normal stop it slows down from nine meters per second to zero meters per second in five seconds find the average acceleration of the bus so one thing we need to know is that the bus is slowing down so it slows down if it's slowing down that means our acceleration is going to be negative negative. and it says it goes from nine meters per second that was the uh, that was the initial velocity nine meters per second to zero meters per second so zero meters per second is the final velocity and it says it does this in five seconds and it asks find the average acceleration of the bus so we don't know what our acceleration is so that's what we're solving for so once again we come down here to our triangle we have if we're looking at it we're solving for acceleration so final velocity minus initial velocity over time so final velocity zero meters per second minus initial velocity nine meters per second over our time so that's going to be five seconds so zero minus nine is going to be a negative nine meters per second divided by five seconds. So if we go ahead and put that in our calculator, we have negative nine divided by five, and that's going to give us an acceleration of, and put that A equals, an acceleration of negative 1.8 meters per second squared. So now let's take a look at some graph interpretations for acceleration. If you notice, we have three simple things on here. If you notice, if your acceleration is going up, this is positive acceleration. So it shows this line increasing over time. And then if your acceleration, if you're not accelerating it at all, that means your line is going to be straight. So you're going to have zero acceleration. So it's going to be a straight line going across over time. And then if your acceleration, if you're slowing down, you're going to have negative acceleration, which shows your line going down over time. So now let's look at some graph interpretations. Number one, at what point is there zero acceleration? At what point is there negative acceleration? And at what point is there positive acceleration? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you 30 seconds to go ahead and write your answers in for this. And you can go ahead and pause the video starting now. So now let's see how you do it on your graph interpretations. Number one, at what point is there zero acceleration? If you notice, right here at point B, we have this straight line going across. So it would be at point B. Number two, at what point is there negative acceleration? Remember, we said negative acceleration is when your line is going down and you're slowing down. So that's going to be at point C. And then number three, at what point is there positive acceleration? Well, that should be obvious. Your line is going up and increasing over time. So that's going to be at point A. So now let's look at calculating acceleration based upon a graph. So say if we want to say our final velocity was 20 meters per second. So here's our final velocity. And say if we want to say our initial velocity was 0 meters per second. And it said, we, if we want to say that we did this over 10 second time interval. So we have 20 meters per second, which is our final velocity, over 0 meters per second, divided by 10 seconds. And really, we're looking at 20 meters per second, divided by 10 seconds, and that's going to give us an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. So from 
20 meters per second minus zero meters per second over 10 seconds at this point of time we're accelerating at two meters per second squared now it's time for your final check for understanding and in this check for understanding you're going to write and answer the following questions for your graph in your notebook and you're going to write you're going to do these independently on your own and I'll come by and check each one of your notebooks to ensure that you have properly understand how to analyze and interpret an acceleration graph and solve acceleration problems based upon a graph so for now I'm Coach Spivey signing off with my son Jordan Spivey peace and have a wonderful awesome amazing day Thank you.